Hi. I have been asked by a number of people what size koi pellet to use for their plants. I actually use two sizes and they both come dehydrated. This is one. I use this for most of my vegetables and herbs. It rehydrates to this size which is 90 millimeters high by 40 millimeters in diameter which is what uh, my lettuce and herbs and chives and everything of that sort is in. For the bigger plants like my passion fruit, rosella, strawberries and pawpaws I use the mini block which is a hundred millimeters uh, sorry 80 millimeters by 80 millimeters and 50 millimeters high and it's about five mil dehydrated and this is the size it hydrates to and it has a hole in the center if you don't need a hole that big you can fill it up with this product which is exactly the same the koi pallets that I use have a paper casing not a nylon like a lot of the others the paper casing takes about two months to decompose which suits me perfectly well because uh, I take most of my seedlings to market to sell and that one there is a Cape gooseberry it is also in the koi palette and it's already flowering that is I guess about um, 300 to 350 millimeters high or roughly 12 inches and that's a silver beet. When I rehydrate my koi, whether it's the pellets, the mini block, or the main uh, koi 90 litre block, into each litre of water I put 5 mil of power feed and 5 mil of wood vinegar. And that gives either your seeds or your seedlings a good boost in life. I generally get um, in my seedlings a 98% success rate. With my seeds, it depends on the supplier. And as we've all experienced, that can be good or bad. But most of my seeds I soak for 12 hours in that same mix. 5 mil of the power feed to 5 mil of the wood vinegar per litre of water. My pest control is the Dipel DF. And that's all I ever use for anything. For the pawpaws, my pawpaw trees, and uh, I have both red and yellow bisexual. I use, that, I use an organic copper-based fungicide for the black spot that pawpaws are susceptible to. Everything in my nursery is recycled and renewable. I hope this has been helpful to you. The seedlings I'm showing you now are all in the 90 by 40 millimeter round pellets. These are in the 80 millimeter by 80 millimeter mini block.
as are those Cape gooseberries. And my strawberries. And these are my pawpaws. These are the red bisexual. These koi pellets and mini blocks are suitable for hydroponics, aquaponics, or all soil based gardens as well. And the beauty of them is if the seeds don't germinate, you just reuse the block or the pellet.